Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode. Today we're gonna start on the first upgrade for the Golf. It's a quite snowy evening so it's the perfect way to start this upgrade. But first I will tell you the whole story. These are the brakes that currently are on the car. It's a 239mm solid rotor and a single piston caliper from a Mark 1 Golf. These are perfect brakes for the standard engine with only 60 horsepower. The normal Golf Mark 1 GTI has ventilated discs uh, but with the same size, there's also uh, 239 with a one piston. But today we will upgrade those to some new big boys. During my engine swap, when the bay was already empty, I took the opportunity to install this bigger brake servo. It's a 7 inch I believe instead of the 5 or 5.5 five inch standard uh, brake booster. The master cylinder is still the same, uh, it's a stock one, it's a 20 millimeter. but in the future when I maybe go disc brakes in the rear, I will upgrade this to a 22 or 25 millimeter. This is the original 5 or 5.5 five inch diameter brake booster as you can see it's quite small so with the new brakes we uh, need a bigger one so it's not that heavy on the pedal now i explained everything so let's get to the new ones so these are the calipers i bought they are from a mark ii golf with a 16 valve engine. They are Girling for, uh, 54 or Lucas 54 brakes and they can be used on a Mark 1. But that's not that easy. Those are the brake caliper carriers from a Mark 1 uh, or a Mark 2, excuse me. Uh, but they don't fit the Mark 1 hub. So that's a problem. That's why I replaced these ones with one of those. So these are, m are my new uh, caliper carriers. Let's move this one aside. And uh, they look a lot like the same, but they have one thing different, big difference, and that are is the distance of the holes. So this one is I believe 19 millimeters, and this one is 75 millimeters. So this one is actually from a Sirocco Mark II 16 valve. Uh, they're pretty rare to find. And I bought these ones from a guy in Germany with the new bolts and sliders in the package. That was around 140 euros, I believe. Uh, those calipers I bought for, I think it was 50 or 60 euros. But I need to uh, give them a revision so new piston, new rubber seals and other stuff, new brake lines, but I think I will use the ones that are currently on the Golf. So, and they will get a little respray. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna clean those up with a wire wheel and then uh, do some painting.
at the moment they are quite clean I need to do some brushing with a, a drill bit I think but uh, how I can see it now it will not take that much time to clean them up with the drill so that's already a good thing so I think we can paint them fairly quickly going to press the piston out because uh, I will take the piston out before I uh, spray the calipers but the first one is already out it came out pretty hard so that's why I will put some paper between the piston and the and the actual caliper there also came a bunch of fluid out so that's where you need to be careful as well so now the ring the piston is out I will remove the paper so we can take the piston out and there's all the fluid So I currently hang those brake calipers on a wire from the ceiling like this and here's the other one. So now we can start painting them. I did some masking on the inside of the on the inside of the caliper. It's not my best job but I think it will succeed for now. For this job I will use some heat resistant paint, it's good to like 800 degrees celsius, so that should be fine for my brakes, I don't hope they will become that hot. These are all the new parts I ordered for this brake calipers. Uh, so new piston, new booth, new inner seal and new nipples. So I also got some new sliders. Those came in the... when I ordered the caliper carriers so those ones will be replaced as well as well as the rubber boots you can see here in front of the, sc of the screen I first looped everything with WD-40 before installing so the piston will go in more easily
first put the uh, new seal over the piston. So currently the old one is still on. Uh, I put the new one on the new piston and then I could uh, push the piston into the caliper first by hand and after that I used a manual vise to do the pushing. For the rest of the installation of the new parts in the caliper I have no videos because it wasn't going that that well and I needed to do or to test some some things and I forgot to film it. So next time we will see the new calipers installed on my car and I will reveal the new wheels. Thank you for watching guys, see you next time. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe and I see you in the future. Have a nice day.